Hi everyone, Greg here from iNetra, and today we're going to be talking about instructions for use for iNetra's Netrometer, a smartphone-powered lensometer. First things first, to insert the phone into the Netrometer, I start by inserting the front first, and then clipping in the back, and the application should open up automatically. Now you'll notice we have three modes here, one for single vision, one for bifocals, and one for progressive glasses. So let's begin with single vision. Now the most important rule when using the Netrometer is when you first select the mode, whether it be single vision, bifocals, or progressives, it's very important that there's no glasses inside the mouth of the Netrometer at that time, as it's going to take a quick second to calibrate. So I'll start by selecting single vision, allow the device to calibrate, and then I'll grab my single vision glasses and I'll start left lens first, temples up. And I'm going to bring the glasses into the mouth of the Netrometer. And what you'll notice on the screen is that you'll see a small dot appear. There it is. And that dot will track along with the glasses movement as I move them. So all I need to do is just align that dot anywhere within that circle. It doesn't need to be dead center, but the closer the better. So I align the dot in the circle. That's the optical center. And then what I do is I'll just squeeze the trigger. And what the trigger does is it just brings these little rubber feet down, which will hold the glasses in place just like that. So I align the dot in a circle, squeeze the trigger, and then simply tap next to take a reading. And then just repeat on the other side. Right lens, insert, align the dot in a circle, squeeze the trigger to hold them in place, and tap next. And there are my results. That was easy. Now I can tag these results so I know who they belong to. So I'll just tap on this line here. I'll then put my name, Greg, and click done, and click close. And then to access those results, I just select the drop down menu, select readings, and here I am right there. Now with bifocals and progressives, the process is pretty similar. There's just two readings per lens instead of one. And the most important thing with multifocals is you just want to make sure you're reading the appropriate region of the lens. So we're always going to read the distance portion first and then the add value. So let's begin with progressives. I'll select progressive mode, allow the device to calibrate. And now as I pull the glasses inside the Netrometer, what you're going to notice on the screen is the dot will kind of travel through the circle and then pop back up as I pass through the add on the glasses and into the distance. So the dot will kind of go through the circle and then pop back up to the top. So let me show you what I mean. Start with the left lens first again. Now as I insert the glasses, you'll see the dot kind of goes through the circle as I pass through the add and then boom, pops right back up. I only show you that just so that you make sure you're reading the appropriate read region of the lens. So, okay, align the dot in the circle again, squeeze the trigger and tap next to take a reading. Now, to grab the add value, all I have to do is just move the glasses slightly forward or away from my body. So I'll slide them up very slowly, align the dot in the circle, and tap next. And then simply repeat on the other side. I'll take the right lens, find the distance, tap next, and then slide forward for the add. Now you'll notice I'm omitting the trigger, which is fine to do from time to time, so long as you see that the glasses are sitting flat against the base of the device. You also have the option when measuring the add value just to skip the add measurement just by tapping on this arrow here, which is just an option if you want to speed up your workflow. So allow that to compute, and there we are. There's my progressive measurement. Again, I can tag them. Click done, and close. Now the process for bifocals is very similar to progressives. There's just one tiny change. The only change is that after I measure the distance portion, I'm going to remove my glasses and then reinsert them to grab the add value. So let's show you how that works. I'll select bifocals, allow the device to calibrate. Again, I'll begin with the left lens, insert the glasses, find that distance measurement, and tap next, and then I'm going to remove the glasses and then reinsert them slowly. There we are, and tap next. And you'll notice I'm always using nice, slow, controlled movements when I'm taking my measurements. Again, find the distance measurement, 
remove the glasses and reinsert them slowly. Very good. And there we are. Now the one last thing I want to show you is a feature that's reserved specifically for our Insight subscribers and that's called the live view mode. Now for that I'll, I'll select my progressive glasses and what the live view allows you to do is allows you to take measurements in real time and spot check specific regions of the lens to check the pres prescriptive power at a specific region. To access the live view you just tap this little icon in the upper right hand corner and now you'll see here, this becomes a see-through interface. So as I pull the glasses into the lensometer, what you can see there is you can actually see the border of the frame as it passes through the target there. And you'll notice that the values at the top of the screen there, the numbers, will change in real time as I move the glasses around. So depending upon which region of the lens I'm in, whichever region of the lens is inside the circle, it's going to read the prescriptive power at that particular region. So it's really effective if you wanted to spot check a specific region. If I had a little lens marker, I could just make a dot and then come in here and find that dot within the circle. And then I can know exactly what the prescriptive power is at that specific region of the lens. Uh, again, this is called our live view mode and it is available to our Insight subscribers. Uh, if you don't have an Insight account or you haven't activated your Insight account yet, you can do so today simply by going to insight.inetra.com. So that's iNetra's Netrometer, a smartphone-powered lensometer. If you have any questions, you can always find out more information at our website, iNetra.com, or if you'd like some training, you can always send us a message to training at iNetra.com. From all of us here at iNetra, thanks for watching today, and see well.